Creating and consuming art is something I've been struggling with lately. I think many of us struggle with this concept of where do we exist in this world of art? We consume it through social media, um, through books, through videos on YouTube. And yet I find myself feeling like I haven't been intentional with my taking in of ideas. Maybe you're the same way, but as a kid, I consumed and created things and didn't care what other people thought about what I was doing, what books I was reading, what jewelry I was making, what clothes I was wearing, because I listened to my own internal guide and told me what to purchase or what to create, what to wear. But with age and the inevitable consumption of the internet, I feel that I've lost my way. When I reflect on my childhood, I feel proud of the creator that I was, but now I don't really feel that great about it. I've been letting myself be influenced instead of being intentional about what I consume. Maybe you're the same way. You you feel like you have this inspiration when you look at Instagram, for example, but you kind of leave there feeling hollow. I know I do. I recently found a YouTuber named R.C. Walden, and in one of his videos, he talks about enjoying art authentically. And one of his points is that we as a society have lost the ability to discover things organically. For instance, as a kid, I would walk into a bookstore and only have the back of the book to figure out which book I was going to read. But now, I have Goodreads. And obviously this has its place in the world, but I use it as my guide instead of my own ability to choose. It's like we can't be wrong. We have to choose the right book every single time. And maybe getting it wrong is part of the point. So I'm here at M50, which is an arts, uh, kind of a district in a way, I guess you could say. I went into that lovely bookstore called Banana Fish and ended up picking up this book by Andy Warhol, and I have never read anything by him before. I know really nothing about him, so, and it came with this cute bag. It's so cute, oh my gosh, I love it. It reminds me of You've Got Mail whenever Shop Around the Corner gives you bags for free. <laughs> we are heading to, it's called The Bund One, right? Yeah, uh, Bund One, it's a museum uh, on the Bund, which is the river that goes through Shanghai. So, all right, you ready? Yeah, let's go. As a family, we're pretty dedicated to living a slow-paced lifestyle. We enjoy just wandering the city and finding beautiful things to see or experience. But this has taken dedication in knowing our family's values and sticking to those. Recently, I realized I may have a vision of what I want my family to be, but what about me? I turned 41 this year, and this age, for some reason, has got me thinking about who I am as a person, my likes and dislikes. My artistic compass has been worn down, and it feels dull. You may be like me and find yourself consuming a lot of media, and yet you have little to show for it. Your core joys are muddled. So how am I going to find my artistic compass? First, I'm seeking out art in its natural habitat. This means any form of art that isn't artificial. Museums, theater, fashion shows, even street art. 
It's all things that are objective by the viewer in real time. No ability to read reviews or find a YouTube video about what someone else thinks. Next, I plan to read books I haven't read to expand my thinking. And I'm going to admit something here. I have never read a classic. That's right, never read a classic. Unless you count half of Scarlet Letter or Cliff's Notes, I'm guilty of never reading them. And I love books. I just never tried them for myself. So I'm reading Emma by Jane Austen and we'll see how it goes. And lastly, it's not about inputting information, but it's also deleting what doesn't serve you. For me, Instagram was something I did out of obligation, especially after moving to a foreign country, I felt like I needed to share this part of myself and my family with the world. But I always left the app feeling depleted. No judgment for those that love it, I get it. I just wasn't able to clearly see what my artistic value was to the world by watching so many fast-paced opinions all at the same time. Creating and consuming art is a privilege and so many of us, myself included, take it for granted. Let's be good stewards of this craft of creating and consuming. And by doing that, maybe we'll find our artistic compass. <laughs>